tetracyclines. Hebu tujifunze kuwa licha ya kazi kubwa iliyofanyika na wanasayansi kugundua penicillin lakini kuna watu ambao wako allergic to penicillin, wengine wana bakteria ambao walitengeneza usugu kwa penicillin na penicillin za asili yani natural penicillin zilikuwa zinafanya kazi vizuri kwa gram positive bacteria zaidi ya gram negative bacteria. Hii limuibua mtaalamu wa mimea yani plant physiologist kutoka Marekani ambaye alikuwa pia professor na president of American Society of Plant Physiologist anaitwa Benjamin Minge Duga. Mwaka 1945 akagundua kundi la antibiotic ya pili linaloitwa tetracyclines. Kuhusu tetracycline ndio msingi wa presentation yetu ya leo ambao tutajifunza na kujikumbusha maana ya tetracyclines, jinsi tetracycline inavyofanya kazi, yani tetracycline mechanism of actions. Tutaona ugunduzi wa tetracyclines, generations au makundi ya tetracyclines, mifano ya tetracyclines kwa jumla, tetracycline resistance yani usugu wa tetracycline na namna ya kupima utendaji kazi au ufanisi wa tetracycline tukiwa maabara ya yani tetracycline susceptibility testing Sasa kabla ya kwanza presentation yetu ya leo tujue kuwa tunajifunza kuwa kuhusu hizi antibiotics na makundi yake kwa kuwa sisi wataalamu wa maabara ndio tunahusika tuna kupima ufanisi wa antibiotic tukiwa kwenye nchi za maabara kabla hazijatumika mwilini ama kwa phenotypic method au kwa genotypic method na pia kuchunguza usugu wa hizi antibiotic yani antimicrobial resistance baada ya kujua hilo sasa tuanze presentation yetu ya leo Tetracyclines ni nini? Tetracyclines are a group of broad spectrum antibiotics compound that have a common basic structure originated from streptomyces primarily and later modifications from actinomycetes. His tetracycline is broad spectrum kwa kuwa ziko active against both gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Kidogo kwa pamoja na na protozoa kama vile akina Plasmodium falciparum. Kwenye chemical structure, tetracycline molecule comprises a linear fused tetracycline nuclear or tetracyclic nucleus zilizopewa majina A B C na D manake kuna mizunguko minne A B C na D kwenye chemical structure tetracycline inajumuisha viringi vinne vilivyo shikamana kwenye mstari mnyofu yani tetracycline molecule comprises of four linear fused cyclic rings zilizopewa majina A B C na D kutoka kwenye kundi kwenye hizo rings zimeshikizwa functional groups za aina mbalimbali kitaalamu tunasema tetracycline molecules comprise a linear fused uh, cyclic uh, tetracyclic nucleus tunasema rings designated a b c and d uh, to which a variety of functional groups are attached sasa tetracycline zimepewa jina baada ya kuonekana na hivi viringi vinne ya ya, ya hydrocarbons yaani tetracyclic Der, uh, derivations hebu tuseme kitaalamu kuwa tetracyclines are named after their four this means tetra hydrocarbon rings which means cycli uh, derivations means ine which makes up tetracycline tetracyclines hii tetracycline tunazidefine kama subclass ya polyketides ye, yenye octahydrotetracin to boxamide skeleton na pia zinajulikana kama derivatives za polycyclic nafasin carboxamide wakati tetracycline zina common structure zinazo tofautiana kwa kuwa na chlorine methyl na hydroxyl groups his modifications of penicillin has badilished kazaki kuu za antibacterial activity lakini inaathiri pharmacological properties kama vile half life na binding to proteins in serum Tetracycline ni kati ya makundi ya antibiotic tunaweza kununua kwa bei nafuu sana maana ni cheap antibiotics inayopatikana sana kwenye mazingira yetu tunayotumia kama prophylaxis yani kuzuia maambukizi na kwenye kutibu magonjwa ya binadamu na wanyama na kutumika kama growth promoters kwenye vyakula vyakula vya wanyama Sasa so, tetracycline antibiotics zinafanyaje kazi yani hebu tuone the mechanism of tetracycline activity hapa tetracycline ni group la antibiotic yani bacteriostatic ni group la inhibitors za growth inhibitors yani bacteriostatic zinazo inhibit multiplication of organisms tetracyclines are short acting and passively diffused through pouring channels in the bacterial membrane yani hizi tetracycline antibiotic zinaingia kirahisi tu kwenye bacteria kupitia kiwambo cha seli yani tunasema cell membrane kwenye channels za pores 
kama vile um, mageti yaliyo kwenye kiwango cha seli kwa ajili ya exchange of materials Tetrocycline zikishaingia kwenye seli zinafanya kazi kwa kuinhibit utengenezwaji wa protini kwa kubind reversibly kwenye fatty acid ribosome subunit na kuzuia amino acid transfer RNA isishike au ishindwe kubind kwenye eh, A sites au tunaita uh, ni ribosome subunit site for um, uh, kwa ajili ya kufanya uh, kufanya messenger RNA aweze kupita in between ribosome subunits Kitaalamu tunasema tetracycline works by inhibiting protein synthesis by binding reversibly to the bacterial thirty s ribosome subunit and preventing amino acid transfer RNA from binding to the A sites of the ribosome. Kuna literature baadhi zinasema pia to some extent tetracycline also binds to the 50s ribosome subunit and it may alter the cytoplasmic membrane causing intracellular component to leak from bacterial cells. Kiurahisi tunasema ili bacteria aweze divide anahitaji information za kutengeneza protini kutoka kwenye DNA. Hizi information zinachukuliwa na mjumbe wa seli tunayomuita messenger RNA ambaye anabebwa na transfer RNA mpaka kufika na kujishikiza kwenye mashine ya kutengeneza protini inaitwa ribosomes. Sasa hizi ribosomes zinakuwa na subunit mbili ambayo kwa bakteria wana 50s subunit na 30s subunit. Ili protini si itengenezwe transfer RNA aliyebeba aliyembeba messenger RNA anapaswa kujishikiza kwenye site A ya hii subunit na kuruhusu messenger RNA apite katikati ya hii subunit na kutoa protini inayotumika kwenye bacterial cell division. Sasa tetracycline zinapotumika uh, zinajishikiza kwenye hii site A ya 30 subunit ya ribosomes na mwisho kuwa competitive inhibitor wa transfer RNA ile kushikiza kwa transfer RNA kushindwa na kuzuia protein synthesis na mshowe kuzuia multiplication of bacterial cell kama tulivyoona kwenye concept ya antibiotics his tetracyclines hazitaathiri sisi za binadamu kwa kuwa uh, za binadamu zina ribosome zake zina subunit tofauti na za bacteria yani inakuwa na 40s subunit na, na 60s subunit kwa upande mwingine bakteria wana sinse, wana system inayoruhusu tetracycline kusafirishwa kwenda kwenye seli ambayo binadamu pia hawana baadhi ya ya maandiko yanasema inazuia hii tetracycline inazuia transfer RNA kujishikiza na messenger RNA hivyo messenger RNA kushindwa kupita kwenye ribosomes okay sasa tuone ugunduzi wa tetracyclines yani discovery of tetracyclines tetracycline bwana iligunduliwa na marekani benjamin minge duga mwaka 1945 alikuwa mtaalamu wa mimea yani plant physiologist ambapo kwa mara ya kwanza ilikuwa reported kwenye scientific literature mwaka 1948. Kiujumla tetracycline ugunduzi wake unahusisha makundi ya, ya watu wengi kama watafiti yani researchers, scientists ya um, kuna clinicians na business executives. Tetracycline ya kwanza kugunduliwa na Benjamin Minge Duga inaitwa clotetracyclines au tunaita auromycin kutoka kwenye golden colored fungus like soil dwelling bacteria kutoka kwenye udongo wa misori wanaoitwa streptomyces aureofaciens iliyotupa jina aureomycin tunaoita clotetracycline kwa namna nyingine au generic name kipindi hicho uh, pia nao Pfizer nao kwa kugundua kugundulika kwa antibiotics mpya basi walikuwa active na wao wakaja wakakusanya udongo kutoka kwenye misitu na majangwa Uh, vile vile uh, vikunye vilele vya milima na bahari na kuchunguza uh, maabara nao wakafanikiwa kugundua tetracycline ya pili inayoitwa oxytetracycline ambayo pia inaitwa teramycin iliyogunduliwa na Alexander Finlay kutoka kwenye udongo wa factory ndani ya Tere haute kwenye jimbo la Indiana mwaka 1949 kutoka kwa bacteria Streptomyces rimosus baada hapo timu ya Pfizer ikiongozwa na Francis A. Hochstein wakishirikia wakishirikiana kidogo na Robert Burns wakabainisha structure of oxytetracycline ambayo waligundua. Iliyomsaidia pia Lloyd H. Conover kutengeneza antibiotic maalumu ya tetracycline ikiwa ndani kama synthetic product. Mwaka 1955 Conover aligundua kuwa hydrogenolysis ya aureomycin tunaoita clotetracycline inatoa desclorol products ambayo ni active kama original product. Hii ilithibitisha kwa mara ya kwanza kuwa chemically modified antibiotics could have biological activity. 
ndani ya miaka michache baadaye semi synthetic tetracycline nyingi ziliingia sokoni na kwa sasa antibiotics nyingi zinagunduliwa ni active derivative mpya za older compounds tetracycline nyingine zilikuja kubainishwa baadaye ama natural locally molecules kama tetracycline kutoka kwa streptomyces aureofaciens streptomyces rimoses na streptomyces viridafaciens mfano mwingine ni dimethyl chlorotetracycline kutoka kwa streptomyces aureofaciens au kama product ya semi synthetic approaches mfano uh, methacycline kuna doxacycline na minocycline utafiti uliofanywa na anthropologist George Amelagos na timu yake ya chuo kikuu cha Emory ilionyesha kwamba Nubians from the post meroitic period around miaka 350 AD walikuwa na deposit za tetracycline kwenye mifupa yao walio detect kwa kutumia UV light Amelagos akapendekeza kuwa hii inatokana na kutumia local ancient beer kama beer za Egyptians ya wa Misri ya out nito wa Misri zilizotengenezwa kutokana na contaminated stored grains. Sasa hebu tutazame makundi ya tetracycline au tunasema generations of tetracycline. Tetracycline zina generations tatu. Kuna first generation ambayo inajumuisha antibiotics kama vile clotetracycline, kuna oxytetracycline, kuna tetracycline yenyewe na dimethyl clotetracycline. Second generation ya tetracycline inajumuisha rolitetracycline, kuna limecycline, kuna doxacycline na minocycline. Kwa third generation inajumuisha antibiotics mfano tunasema tigecycline. Kati ya zote hizo tetracycline common ni demecycline, doxacycline, minocycline na tetracycline yenyewe. Mifano sasa tetracycline antibiotics ni tetracycline, kuna doxacycline, kuna minocycline, kuna demeclocycline kuna eravacycline, kuna omadacycline, kuna sarecycline, kuna lefamulin, kuna tigecycline, kuna rolitetracycline, kuna oxytetracycline na metacyclines. Oh mm-hmm.